Whether it's on the battlefield or at the site of a disaster, the iconic high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle or HMMWV could be seen almost anywhere. It served the United States loyally since 1985 and over those 30 years more than 281,000 Humvees have rolled off the AM general production lines. U.S. Department of Defense DoD, initiated the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV, program to replace and improve upon the aging Humvee. A rigorous testing exercise was undertaken to choose a model from three different vendors. Oshkosh was declared as winner on the 25th of August 2015 when its model was selected over Lockheed Martin and AM General's models. JLTV is as much a technology leap over the Humvee as the Humvee was to the Jeep-like Ford M151 MUT before it. According to the U.S. Army and Infantry Brigade Combat Team in the 10th Mountain Division at Fort Drum was the first to receive JLTV in June 2017. The JLTV family and its nomenclature evolved throughout the development process, and to date, the U.S. Army has allocated M designations to four individual JLTV configurations heavy guns carrier, utility, general purpose, close combat weapons carrier. Although Humvees will continue to serve behind the scenes with the Army and Marines until 2050, the new JLTV will be in the front line. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes five reasons why Oshkosh JLTV is a major leap over Humvee. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. While the Humvee continues to prove itself as a versatile military design, the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts revealed a fatal flaw – insufficient protection from improvised explosive devices IEDs. The initial response was to add armor to existing Humvees and primarily on the sides. This improved side protection against direct fire and associated threats, but since the chassis was not designed to handle any further additional weight there was little room for underbody protection. The additional weight also adversely impacted mobility. The Oshkosh JLTV chassis has been designed to provide better survivability. Compared to an up-armored Humvee, a basic Oshkosh JLTV offers multiple orders of magnitude more protection from bullets and bombs to its occupants. JLTV includes blast-protected seats, restraints, and stowage to minimize crew impact during adverse events. Also, each Oshkosh JLTV is capable of being fitted with a B kit of armor, boosting protection to levels similar to that of mine-resistant ambush-protected or MRAP vehicles. It's a very important thing. Pentagon findings showed that in 2009, U.S. troops in MRAPs were 17 times more likely to survive IED blasts than in Humvees. The base JLTV does not have a standard armament, however, it can be fitted with a selection of weapons including light, medium, and heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers or anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, depending on user requirements. The weapons can be operated from ring mounts or a remote weapon station. Smoke grenade launchers for self-defense can also be fitted if required. Since the Humvee first went into service, its engine has been upgraded to a 6.5-liter turbo diesel V8 that produces an inadequate 190 horsepower and 380 pound-foot of torque. That's hardly enough power to motivate the base Humvee's roughly 6,000-pound curb weight, let alone the 13,000-plus-pound curb weight of an armored Humvee. 
The end result is Humvees have a top speed of 70 miles per hour. The Oshkosh JLTV uses Gale Banks Engineering 866T 6.6 liter diesel engine. This engine is based on GM Duramax architecture used in many trucks. The current variant of the engine summons 397 horsepower and 765 pound foot of torque. This power will be able to propel the vehicle at a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Double the torque will also enable the JLTV to better navigate tricky terrain. The engine also provides improved fuel economy in both idle and operational modes. This is very significant since it stretches the capacity of the supply line less. It's interesting to note in this context that M1 Abrams MBT, though very competent, has been criticized heavily because of its fuel-guzzling nature. The JLTV can be fitted with the Oshkosh Propulse Diesel Electric Powertrain, previously fitted to the Oshkosh Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck HEMTT, and MTVR. According to Oshkosh, the Propulse Diesel Electric Powertrain dramatically improves fuel economy by up to 35 percent in certain circumstances and serves as an onboard generator with enough output to power an entire airfield or hospital, generating up to 120 kilowatts of AC power for external operations. It's to be noted that the hybrid powertrain is not a requirement of the JLTV program, but it is great that an option is already in place in case required. Reliability can be the difference between life and death when it comes to combat vehicles. Although Humvees were initially pretty reliable in the field, as they aged and as the military upgraded them with heavy armor that increased wear and tear, they needed more and more maintenance. During the testing phase of the JLTV program, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps brought along 22 up-armored Humvees to test alongside Oshkosh, Lockheed Martin, and AM General's JLTV entrance, with each manufacturer providing 22 test vehicles. During nearly three years of testing, platoons equipped with Oshkosh JLTVs had the highest levels of mission success. Oshkosh's JLTVs was also far the most reliable of the bunch, averaging 7,051 miles between operational mission failures, defined as a system failure that prevents the vehicle from accomplishing its mission. Up-armored Humvees were surprisingly the second most reliable of the group, averaging 2,968 miles between failures, followed by the Lockheed Martin JLTV at 1,271 miles between failures and the AM General JLTV, which averaged only 526 miles between failures. Oshkosh fits each JLTV with its TAC-4i suspension system. It's a fully independent, double wishbone design with electronically adjustable high-pressure gas shocks. The JLTV suspension has 20 inches of wheel travel and the ability to raise and lower the suspension as needed. It's significantly better than Humvee's ground clearance of 16 inches. In a Humvee, the troops tend to be thrown around inside the cabin when the Humvee travels over rough terrain. Two to three hours of such travel can leave the occupant significantly fatigued. The advanced suspension in JLTV provides a much smoother ride as the cabin practically floats over the wheels. The wheels move up and down a lot, but the cabin remains stable. This enables the soldiers to do their tasks more efficiently, like firing from inside the vehicle since the platform is steady. JLTV also includes a high-performance brake solution to provide exceptional stopping and grade-holding capability. These features come together to provide unprecedented levels of off-road performance. The Humvee was never designed to tightly integrate with multiple sensors or process a lot of information. The Oshkosh JLTV is designed from the ground up to incorporate multiple sensors and informational systems. It's built with the capability to serve as a highly mobile and protected command center. Actually, Oshkosh JLTV hosts a complete C4 ISR. That's Command, Control, Communications, Computers, C4. Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance 
ISR, network solution, which can be configured to meet demands of the evolving battlefield with mission expansion package. JLTV also includes the following. 1. Long-range surveillance, enabling early detection of threat. 2. Shot detection, easily find the origin of incoming fire. 3. Silent watch power systems, low noise mode, harder to detect. 4. Visible light and IR camera systems, better visual recognition. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.